Hey guys, we're doing a repair video today on this uh, air compressor. Guy brought it to me and he said it would only pump up to about 5 psi. And it's not that old. It's not that old of a compressor. It still has plastic on it. So let me show you what I found. Okay, when I took this apart, I would say I already have taken it apart. I disconnected this first and uh, the outlet, the pressure side, and I held my finger in here and I turned it on and you could actually stop the air from coming out. So I knew the check valves or something was going on inside of here. So I took the head off and I've already had this off and what I what I found is the head gasket was broke right here in between the two pistons so when it would run you know air from one side would just go to the other side right here so I uh, chiseled the old gasket off and I got a new one ordered and it's a it's uh there's your part number and this is the most common one for five horse motors two cylinder one thing that I noticed um, after I cleaned the old gasket off um, put the head back on and I don't like that it's not supposed to do that there's a pivot on this rivet and uh, see this head is aluminum these check valves like the this one here these two are inlet and they just open like that and there's the exhaust ones which go to the pressure but this little rivet here I think was preventing the old gasket from properly seating all the way and that could be why it failed right here so this is what I'm gonna do I'm going to take this gasket because it does these uh, these little holes right here do line up perfectly with where the rivet is so I'm going to use this as a template to mark um, where I need to Right there. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to drill a little tiny relief dimple there where that rivet will not be hitting the metal when you tighten down these screws. So, we're going to right about there, I think, yeah, that looks good. Now, yeah, that's good we're gonna drill that out but first first 
we got to cover we got to cover the uh, cylinders so you don't get uh, So you don't get metal shavings down inside of it. There. All right, we're gonna start out with a drill bit that is 332. And then we're gonna go to we're going to go to a 3 because that's what size the holes are here. We're going to start out with a small one so you stay centered. Then we're going to go to the three sixteenth drill bit. That should do it. Okay. That should do it. Let's see if that made a difference. Perfect. Now you know the gasket will compress and seat properly in between the two pistons here. So let's go ahead and put it together. Um, we're gonna put it now. Let's put it like this. I want to pause this while I tighten these down. All right, we're gonna 
got all the bolts tightened down. That's good. All right. Now we can hook up the uh, discharge or the exhaust pressure side. This is ready for a test run. So let's plug it in and see what happens. All right, we're plugged in, ready to go. It's done. So I'm going to put the shroud back on this and uh, yeah, it's fixed. New head gasket with a uh, dimple drilled in it for the divot. Thanks for watching.